Cheryl, of a talk with my brother-in-law, a pediatrician, about gut health stuff. One thing he said he he has been help uh, help for for me when considering how traditional med deals with the kind of stuff. There are simple way simple simply too many variables when it comes to potential impacts of dietary or minor supplement changes no standardization of products no standardization of products no way to test uh, other than invasive in endoscopes um, may not be the right procedure etc if they tell someone or okay something uh, wholeheartedly they can be liable for something completely out of their control yeah and that is due to the uh, insurance industry right like insure if you look at the insurance industry it's one of the top three I believe the uh, largest industries in the world you got energy weapons whatever it is food whatever it is but it, it, insurance is one of the top three one of the top five in the world right insanity okay Doctors can come on and say, you know what, your gut is everything. Figure out what you need to eat, what you can't eat. Go out and do it. Create a list. They can actually, they, you can direct people, right? You can have a have a spreadsheet, right? Have these foods and say, look, so these are some of the foods we know that people have alert allergies to the most, right? Stop eating some of these. And then slowly introduce one, right? It's called, do an experiment. That's what I did with me, right? Introduce one, eliminate all of them, eat other things for now, and then introduce this. See if your body reacts, if your skin reacts. Keep it going for a couple of weeks. If your body doesn't react, your skin doesn't react, that might be okay. Introduce another one. When you introduce another one, if you see your skin reacting in a certain way, as soon as you introduce this other food, then maybe that's not a good idea take that away okay stabilize see if it goes away your skin rash goes away or whatever it is just pain in the gut bloatness or whatever it is right and then if you want to try it again introduce again see if it reacts again if it does then hmm, there's a correlation there and then move on to the other foods that's what I did with me right that's what I did with me so there's certain things I do not eat okay that i used to by the way that i used to be able to eat okay i used to use a lot of peppers in my food i don't use any more peppers because my skin reacts to peppers so i stopped using peppers okay and i know it's peppers because i did that exact thing okay it took a long time it took months 